Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's get started with today's video. In this episode, we're going to give you an overview of the storage medium and formatting options available within the full line of Mobotics cameras. This is where you can format an SD card and also decide on a primary target solution for your recordings. By selecting a suitable primary target, you are determining where the camera stores the recordings. After selecting the primary target, you can configure the other options such as storage format, the file server to use, additional storage archive, storage size, time-based restrictions, etc. This section provides an overview of the various storage methods, which will be discussed in more detail as we go along here. And before we get started, just a reminder about the online help available. Just click that yellow question mark in the upper right hand corner when you need more info within the page currently displayed. There is also a ton of information available from our website, mobotics.com, and our community pages at community.mobotics.com. Okay, let's get started. From the camera's home page, click on Admin Menu. Then scroll down to the storage section and click on storage on external file server. Once inside this section, if you see the more button in the lower right hand corner of the page, click on it to show more choices for modification. Just a heads up though, whenever you see the more button displayed on a page, you may want to make it a habit of selecting it. You only have to do this once unless you clear the browser cache. Here you can start off by formatting your third party micro SD card. You don't need to format the one that came with the camera from the factory because that's already taken care of. I'll show you now how to do this. First you go to the storage target section. Click the down arrow next to primary target and choose deactivated. Then go to Set, Close, and OK. Go back into the Admin menu. Scroll all the way down the bottom. Hit Store. Click Store Permanently. Click Reboot. And then Reboot Now. And it'll take about one minute for the camera to come back. One hour later. Once the camera's back, click on Admin Menu. Again, scroll down to Storage on External File Server. Now you can click on the down arrow next to Format Medium and pick your SD flash card. Then proceed to click on Format. It will display the total size of your SD card. Pretty much you can leave this as is. Click OK. This is where you'll have to put in your user credentials to move forward. Once you've entered those, click OK. And the format process of your micro SD card will begin. And you will see a progress bar while it's happening. Once it's finished, it will give you status of the card at that point. Just click OK. After you've taken care of formatting your SD card, you can move on to setting up your recording destination and other parameters within this section. Here I'll quickly go over some of the primary target options for storage. You've got NFS file server, SMB SIFS file server, USB stick or flash solid state drive, external USB hard disk, the SD flash card, and then buffered MX FFS archive. For this exercise, we'll choose the one most often used for network attached storage devices, which is the SMB SIFS file server. Enter the file server options for your storage device. And once you've done this, you can test the connection here. If the test is successful, 
Then move on to the storage limits, which you'll want to decide ahead of time given how much you need and then how much you have available. Well, that's about it for an overview, guys. And remember to click Set, Close, and then OK when you're finished making changes. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. And thank you!